Hey guys, what's up? So we're here at Toy Fair 2020 at the Funko booth with my man Sully. What's up everybody? I call my man, we just met, but I feel like there's something good happens. I mean, we're talking good. podcasting, video, uh, yeah, this is my ring. This, this is a ring, okay, cool. Um, so Abby's on the camera, Jake's here, we're gonna take a look at what Funko has going on. Show us the line. Awesome. All right, thanks man. We'll start with our newest line. This is uh, Funko Soda, which has been well received by fans. This is a new line with a vintage aesthetic. I really like these because uh, they're a real metal can. The top comes off. I'll show you guys one here. Top comes off and there's a figure inside. Oh, hell yeah. They're limited edition. Everyone is labeled on the outside with exactly how many it will make. One in six is actually going to be a chase piece like this Robin here. So when it comes to pieces like that, there will only be a total of 1,200 chase Robins. Once those are sold out, we're done. These are going to specialty stores, so you won't see them at a Target or a Walmart or anything like that. They're going to be at the biggest stores, maybe like a GameStop or a Hot Topic, and even they will be allocated a certain amount, so that you'll be able to find them at your local comic book stores and retailers and things like that. Very cool. Yeah, I love them. They're going to be changing these out regularly, so okay. this is something you got to act fast on if it's something you want to add to your collection. Okay, very cool, yeah. very cool. And are these available now? They are out now. Yeah, we've got them at Funko HQ and Funko Hollywood, and they're starting to hit retailers everywhere. Okay. I know I've talked to a lot of people who are saying I'm having a hard time finding them. They're going to get there. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I really like that. That is so awesome. Look at that. Yeah. That is cute. Yes. That is adorable. Cool. Very Love cool. Love the chase. All right. And, uh, moving over to our wall this year, we've got it separated by categories. We're starting with movies over here, and a lot of the products that you'll see on the shelf are things that are already out of retail or arriving at retail soon, but I'll call out some of the newer figures that we've only done glams of uh, on our social channels, and this is your first chance to see them full 3D in person. Uh, for A Quiet Place, we've got this monster, which to me looks like something straight out of Stranger Things. I love the movie. I was yeah. really surprised to see that we started there, but I think the fans are going to love it. Uh, SpongeBob, the movie. And then behind you over there, I'm really excited about both these. We got American Psycho and Killer Clowns. Oh hell yes! Killer Clowns, we did an exclusive of it at uh, New York Comic Con, and we continued the line so that people can uh, just expand their collection. Oh, and we talk a lot paints. of Killer Clowns. The final uh, version will be even a little brighter than what you see there. Yeah. And when it comes to American Psycho and several of the other ones that we have on the shelves, that white, uh, it's since it's a hand thing, white will end up being clear in the final production. Very cool. Over to the right there, you've got uh, more Harry Potter. Harry Potter's been a huge license for us, very successful with fans. So we like to try some different things with those. We've got 10-inch Dumbledore and Voldemort and an 18-inch, not shown here, Harry Potter. That'll be coming soon. We've only done one 18-inch figure so far. That was Batman. Uh, Harry Potter will be the second. And then our, uh, our in, uh, first look at the pop pins. Which yeah. most of them have this metal finish like an enamel pin. If you actually run your finger across there, that is a flocked version of that Ooh. pin right there that will be available for retail. And they wow. all come in a pop box uh, that is half the depth of a standard pop box with the exact same width and height. Okay. So they'll fit right in your collection without looking abnormal or sticking out for the inbox. Collection. That is so nice. important. If people like yes. you consider things like packaging more, yep. Because that's so important to a collector. Like, there's nothing worse when you get something and it doesn't fit. Right. And then you're like, what do I do? It doesn't even look good on the shelf. We Let's talk go. about that a lot, yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's really important. Our packaging, we try to stay as standardized as possible. There are those rarities when we go a lot bigger. Right, right, but right. even those stay the same within their category. Very cool, very, very cool. Nice. We got a lot of lounge fly gear on hand because that is a company we bought a few years ago. Uh, and they are making some amazing things for like Harry Potter, Marvel, Disney. We've got the advent calendar there. That's something we put out this year. We did yeah, I saw one as those. Well. Do those do pretty well? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we that's a, a must-have. We did have. A, a Freddy Funko version only, our mascot, a few years ago, and everybody's like, why stop there? There's all these licenses we want to see, so we're trying those now. I don't know as a collector if I can. I think I would just open them all day one. Yeah. Do. Some people do. <laughs> yeah. Some people absolutely yeah. do. Yeah, it's your style. Uh, moving on to movies, again, a lot of stuff that's already out. Personally, I'm a big fan of Adam Sandler movies, so that whole line there with uh, Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, Waterboy, I'm super hyped at. And then the line below that, or the shelf below that, is all the newest products. These are hand paints again, so some of those things will be a little refined when they finally Oh my god, Romeo and Michelle. I invented the most note. <laughs> nice. This fight is... Club. Mm -hmm. I am a huge Fight Club fan, so I'm super hyped about that. Hobbs and Shaw. Uh, that is, he's not from Hobbs and Shaw, he's out of place. Uh, Fast Times <laughs> I was like, I don't remember I was that say. scene. <laughs> you didn't see the director's cut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, I'm going to predict that. The Bob Barker Happy Gilmore two pack will be one of your best sellers. Should be good. Two packs sometimes a little tough to uh, figure because okay. okay. again, people like that standardized packaging. Right. But you're not going to get Bob Barker in a lot of other ways. No, so no, no. You better jump on it. Also, mm -hmm. um, 
uh, Steve Buscemi yeah. and Billy Madison. That's my favorite scene in the movie. Yeah, that list so, uh, mm. terrifies me. <laughs> yeah. I don't ever want to be on it. We've <laughs> 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 got uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, including the uh, famous Phoebe Cates bikini scene. Oh, yeah. We've got... Uh, I remember Island. it differently. <laughs> 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 well, it could be that one, or maybe you can make it a Christmas vacation version. Yeah, you know, oh, okay. Uh, and then Smokey and the Bandit. I'm a little older than most around here. I grew up on Smokey and the Bandit, and I think that's one of the best pop rides I've ever done. It's going to be amazing. Very cool, very cool. That, very cool. Hey, that looks like Burt Reynolds. It does? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That, that is amazing. Two black discs and a mustache and a cowboy there hat. There would be not a human being who mistakes uh, yep. that for anything else. Oh, now we're talking. Yeah. Pop, oh, BSP. Yeah. Pop music, pop rocks is our, one of our fastest growing lines. We didn't have that many a few years ago, and now we're just knocking out of the park with licenses. we got Motorhead, Slayer, Police. Uh, my personal favorite from last year, Rob Zombie. Def Leppard, Migos, like you said, Backstreet Boys, we got NSYNC as well, oh, Iron Maiden, and then this shelf is all of our newest ones, Aerosmith, Shania Twain. Oh, yes! Did you ever think that would be a thing? Hey, you know what? Yes. Fill me real quick. That does impress me much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're a Funko Pop. And then, <laughs> probably the hottest thing we have at the show is our new pop albums. These are meant to be almost like artwork. They'll have holes in the back so you can hang them on your wall. Yeah. That's Price cool. point on that, believe it or not, only $15. That's art plastic in the front, all around a sleeve that comes off the front, and then we'll be emulating famous album covers like that with the pop inside. Uh, this is the very first, but when we put this out on social, people went nuts. It was one of the, the best performing things we had. No one said a negative thing. It was all, that's awesome. And here's 17 other albums I want you to make immediately. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's that a got, good problem. That has to give you a, a lot of uh, mojo because possibilities are endless. I mean, if people want to license this stuff yeah. out, just go nuts with it. And, and what else can you get? 3D hangable wall art for your famous bands. You don't see a lot of that stuff. Yeah. We got Migos. We're from Atlanta. So yep, big fan. Them. Where's Cardi? Hopefully she's coming. Maybe one day. You Maybe. Never know. You yeah. never know. I'll neither confirm or deny. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, we went, we did James Brown, we got ZZ Top. We finally went back to Tupac, which is one of our most requested things. We did them years ago, but it was that old superhero pose. Gotcha. And so now we've got back to some, some of the newer artwork. And then I think this is the most accurate pop we've ever made. Lil Wayne is spot on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Him and, him and probably uh, Post Malone from last year. Okay. Uh, probably the, some of the most accurate pops we've ever done. Yeah. Over on TV, in the next section, uh, we did The Good Place. We got Will and Grace coming. And then I, I love this line, The Office. It's one of our most requested things of all time. We did a few waves already, but everybody was like, those are great, but why didn't you make Insert Here? These are all the ones everybody was asking for. Right? We tried to do them all, and we've got more coming, hopefully. Oh, yes. show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Shout out to Greg Nicotero. I like these dinosaurs. Yeah, those dinosaurs look oh, good. Oh, my God. Good. A lot of people honing in on the dinosaurs. I remember Especially it. I wasn't, apparently I wasn't as big a fan as everybody else. Yeah. Nobody yeah. was. It's nostalgia. Everybody was, yeah, oh, that was my favorite show. It's like, the aesthetic. It's the aesthetic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Very cool. Yeah. Favorite yeah. shows. This is my favorite area of the whole show right here. Masters of the Universe line continued. Uh, we're finally doing He-Man on Battle Cat, Sorceress, uh, some of the more obscure characters, if you will, and a 10-inch Skeletor, which I am super hyped about. I have a feeling that will do very well. Yeah. yeah. Masters of the Universe, MOT fans. Very, uh, very intense. I like it, though. Yep. New TV continuing. We've got uh, Flintstones Pop Town, so it'll be Fred with his house in a two-pack. Uh, we've got Arthur. Everybody loves the clench fist gift for that one. Yeah. And uh, Wallace and Gromit, which turns out Wallace and Gromit basically was a pop already. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Easy trend. <laughs> Easy for you. Yeah. That's insane how well that works. It's great. Very cool. Over to your right there, we got uh, Rick and Morty, which we have the master toy license for. And uh, they've been, Justin Roiland and the team at Rick and Morty love Funko and we love Mac. They give us early access to stuff. So we're actually making pops before episodes come out. Oh, that's cool. We did that for SDCC and people oh, are like, what are these characters? And then they found out when the season started. <laughs> Same with Five Nights at Freddy's. We have a master toy license on that as well. And I think some new things are coming uh, in the game area for them later this year. Awesome. Very, very cool stuff. And then I'm really excited about this next section for DC. Over here for DC, we've got, uh, of course, Batman. We've done a few Batmans at Funko. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Uh, but one of our most requested things, again, was the Batman, 1989 Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever. Batman Forever. finally get to do the Joker. 
Mr. Freeze. The Nicholson Freeze. one's amazing. Aren't they amazing? They're yeah. Really, like, you look at that penguin and there's no doubt that that is Danny DeVito as the penguin. Abby, how do these Batman Forever pops make you feel? Uh, amazing. <laughs> I am a huge fan of Batman Forever and Jim Carrey's Riddler. I kind of wish that they had the end of the movie Riddler with the white suit. I did do a cosplay of that. It took a lot of time on it, so maybe one day. Maybe a con exclusive? Or no. Chase Marion or something? Ooh, that would be kind of nice, yeah. Not confirmed. Anything you ever <laughs> yeah. yeah, these are great. Nice. And then we got uh, first look at Wonder Woman 84 down here. Uh, those we've done some again some plans. This is the first time we get to see the actual pops in person. I love that uh, fanny pack on Steve Trevor there. And then the really cool action poses with Wonder Woman are, are unlike anything. Yeah, that look at that. Up and down. Very, very cool. Very heroic. cool. Very uh, cool. Introduction of pop candy. Something new. We got a candy company now, so you've actually got a clear vinyl figure filled with candy and colors to match the character. Uh, I think it was a retail of like six bucks. So a new version of a collectible. Very cool. Very, very cool. Love that. Love and around the corner over here, we're transitioning to gaming. So for gaming, a lot of this is already out. Of course, Fortnite, PUBG, Rage 2, Apex Legends. But on the bottom row here, we got Guild Wars, which was just introduced a few months ago, and Dungeons & Dragons. A uh, really highly requested line. And we've got a really cool Gelatinous Cube exclusive coming to Emerald City Comic Con that's just blowing people's minds. Cool, cool, cool. Even got the introduction of the Ninja Pop. So for anybody who's a YouTube streamer or looks up to a YouTube streamer, you know about this guy. <laughs> Video games continue with one of my personal favorites, Contra. Cool. I love that. I like these guys. Uh, Shantae and Cyberpunk 2077. It is the era of Keanu Reeves. So Obviously. Yeah. One more to add to your collection next to John Wick and, uh, you know, Bill and Ted. Definitely. Love Keanu. Yeah, love Keanu. The new Avengers video game, not the MCU. got to point that out. Yeah, look at those. A little, uh, definitely a little different from the MCU, which has confused some people, but I think true to the video game when it finally lands. Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, one of my, another personal favorite. I'm an OG Mortal Kombat guy, oh, so yeah. you're finally getting some of the original characters, their original form, if you will. Looks great. Get over here. And then... <laughs> Pokemon. There we go, Pokemon. Pokemon allowed us to continue the line. We did a few of the original starters, but now we're able to continue and do more. Uh, Vulpix and... Pichu, Mewtwo, Eevee. We've got uh, these here, but then like we worked with Target, and they've got some 10-inch versions of some of these coming. Overwatch, continuing on with that line. We've got some of the minis. Not, they're not mysteries. You actually know what you're going to get because there's a little window in the box. And then Trolls. These are out now, but I still think they're amazing because of the hair, the rooted hair. Uh, we've got the regular size pops, and then we got the 10-inch. And there's actually a chase for this guy as well. Here's a brush. And the chase where he's a rainbow body with white hair. Okay. So if you're able to find that at retail. And Jack. Do they have a with the hat icons, Betty Boop. I like to call this row as the party I'd like to attend one day with Farrah Fawcett and Guy Fieri, Marilyn Monroe, and Smokey. Like, wouldn't that be a party? We gotta get Guy Fieri for the office. That's amazing. That's really great. Yes. I really like this very awesome. Look at that. Yeah, true to the poster, isn't it? Very it's cool, amazing. very cool. Yeah. And then uh, over on this entire wall behind me is all sports that continue to MLB, NFL, NHL, uh, college mascots, NFL mascots. Uh, we've introduced golf. Ooh, where's the golf? Uh, oh, he, uh, Oh, in that corner. Hey, left. Uh, my <laughs> other left. Oh, There's we Tiger lost Woods one. over here. Yeah. Pretty crazy here, guys. We'll, we'll try Arnold to... Palmer in a minute. He's in a sand trap. Oh, I see him down there. <laughs> Arnold Palmer. Jack... I've turned it into the golf podcast. My, my co-hosts are not happy with me. Dozens of people have asked for it. Listen, here's the thing. We'll, we'll look at Diesel and the Miz first. Oh, a little bit. The John C. Look at this mean Jane. That was that's up. another one yeah. that's like clearly you can tell that's that, yeah face lines perfect all right so hey, let's, let's save see. arnold palmer here come on buddy there we go yeah tiger woods i really nice. love the, the style on that one it's uh it's really cool when they cater the uh the stance to the player yeah. themselves you recognize that pose very cool great good and stuff then, uh, here down over here, I do have to call this out, for the U.S. Women's National Team, the poses on these are probably some of the most accurate molds we've ever done for any individual uh, athlete. Just nailed it. I know the, the ladies are excited about it when they saw them online. They were like, oh, we have to have many of these. <laughs> 
I love this. Like the closet and the And then down the middle of our booth, we have a Star Wars and a Harry area, Marvel and Disney. And okay. I want to call out a few things from Star Wars. Sure, yeah, yeah. Finally get to see the child in person in the regular size pop, but also at 10 inches coming. I think both those are up for pre-order now for anybody interested. Uh, I still debate, is this the actual life size or bigger than life size? I don't know, that might be bigger. Yeah. Now, the rumor was that this is one of like the, the best-selling pre-orders of all time. Yep, it absolutely is. And the uh, Look at it, yeah. Yeah, that's great. went nuts over it, and that's still pre-order right now. Yeah. It hasn't hit shelves yet. Should soon. Cool, very cool, very cool. Star Wars, uh, we are required to have bobble on those with the stands. So okay. I like to point out things like Darth Vader in his chamber has a nice little touch where the head actually bobbles, and you can actually see his helmet up in the top there as it will be lowered down on him in his chamber. Kind of tough to see at that angle, but... We got him in there. Nice. Very cool. Uh, and one, another one of the most requested figures of all time that finally happened, Han in Carbonite, and yes, the head bobbles. It's, this is uh, oh a little display, so it's hard to get it going. But I like that it bobbles in the Carbonite. Yeah. And have you seen our lights and sounds? Yeah. Cool. We've got a Darth Vader and a Kylo so far, and I'm hoping that line just blows up and we do a whole lot more. Very awesome stuff. You guys anime fans? I can't say that we are. No. <laughs> I, I am not into it a lot, but I do love the artwork, and I do have to call out a couple of things. Yeah, we have a few listeners. Like Dragon Ball Z, I think we're making like the millionth Dragon Ball Z pop and uh, people continue to ask for more, so why not continue on with that? One, pun, one Punch Man, Inuyashu, uh, Dragon Ball Super, My Hero Academia, and what I think is the most original thing I've seen in a long time, a Sanrio My Hero Academia mashup. Wow. I, I don't even know what to say about that. I think it's so cool. Yeah. I don't either, but I like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet you know this one. Yes. The Speed, Speed Racer <laughs> pop ride. So Wasn't cool. it Matthew Fox? <laughs> in the movie, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the Wachowski siblings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I do like the Ava units. Those are cool. Which one? Oh, yeah. The Ava. A lot more. Anime is our single fastest growing line of Funko right Okay. Now. Just absolutely blowing up because we didn't really focus on it three, four years ago. Okay. And now we are, and it's bringing in a whole new generation uh, and uh, fandom that wasn't into Funko necessarily before. Gotcha. Gotcha. Very cool. Then down in the middle, the table I actually set up, so don't make fun of anything. No, we won't. This is uh, our Marvel area. Yeah. And across the front, we've got some of our newer Marvel items. Okay. Uh, like Black Widow, which will be landing on shelves any day now. Uh, Fantastic Four line. And I know I keep pointing these out, but the two single most requested Marvel figures we've had in the history of Funko are Rogue and Gambit. And we finally got permission to do them. So here they are. I mean, we couldn't do a live or a Q&A without people going, Where are Rogue and Gambit? Where are they? There they are. It's probably, we have a group chat with a few friends of ours. And they were probably the loudest. They were the two. They there were the go. two. Those yeah, look proof my point. Those were those were great I like though. This Galactus down here. Yeah, are you seeing? He looks good. Like a big box store, and a lot of lounge fly, but I do have to point this out. We make these really cool mini backpacks through our lounge fly brand. Very clearly Captain America. But what I like about this one is there's a little hidden message on the back. Isn't that nice? That's great. You're not going to cool. see that when somebody's just wearing it around, yeah. but I love that touch. But you there's, know it's there. There's also an Iron Man gauntlet on the other side, and if you turn it to the side, it says, I love you 3,000. That's cool. Hey, I got to go cry it's, real quick. Right? <laughs> it immediately brings up the emotion. Love it. And then finally over here, we've got our Disney area. Uh, Disney, we've got our first look at Onward Pops in person up there on the top. Live action Mulan. And the upcoming Soul film, I didn't even see these before we set them on the shelf. Uh, we'll call out again, the white will be clear okay. in the final uh, production run. Uh, classic Mulan cartoon, Frozen 2. And down on the end, I think one of the coolest pop rides we've ever had, Cinderella's Carriage. Just look at the detail on that. Look at that. Very yeah, beautiful. cool stuff. And Loungefy will be expanding on, they already have an enamel pin program. Uh, we have a ton over here specifically for Disney, but there will be individual pins available at retailers as well as these carded ones. They have multiple pins on them, and they're going to be making some bags like this one that actually have holes all throughout the front so you can put your pins in without damaging your uh, bag or backpack. That is so smart. So and so wear them through the parks. Yeah. Very good. Abby, what love do you think it. about that? Uh, I love it. I want one. <laughs> the Cinderella pins in particular are really cute. I would love to cover this with those. Keep also, set. you don't have to uh, worry about destroying your bag. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Thanks for thinking of us. Cool.
I think that's really uh, that's really most of it. We also have Whitmore Forest. I'm going to touch on that last. That's our own original IP. Uh, Funko HQ is actually positioned on a street called Whitmore Avenue. Okay. So our artists created these characters from scratch. They're all their own uh, visions and dreams. We have an entire section of Funko HQ dedicated to Whitmore Forest. You can find these also at Barnes & Noble. There's a series of books for the kids, puzzles, action uh, activity books. The pops, the plush, and we have uh, the regular colors. We've done a winter version where they were all white. We did a fall version with the fall colors, and a spring version with these nice, bright, vivid colors. Cool. And they performed really well with kids. So great. Yeah, original cool. content. Very cool. Well, Sully, thank you so much yeah, for cool. having us. And uh, we're going to check out some more stuff here at the Funko booth. And uh, hey, you guys are killing it. Well, thank you. All right, cool. Have a good mm -hmm. tour here. Absolutely. Thank Thanks. you very much. Bye.